The transfer window has slammed shut at half 11 here on the 1st of February 2024 and with that it is the last SPFL transfer roundup of this season of course it will return next season oh yeah can't wait for that but anyway I've talked about enough transfers this month to last a lifetime but let's kick off with a few ones that sneaked through the door I mean there might be a few wee jobber ones that we miss but here I'm not sitting up to 1am well, I am, but I'm not sitting at 1 and 10 to wait to do this, Fed. But anyway, let's talk about the teenager. The guy who was linked with a move to Manchester United, Callan McKenna. He has joined the Premier League side, Bournemouth. Uh, only has 17, of course, from the Championship. Also, Danny Wilson, which I did talk about earlier, went to Queen's Park, which is quite a quite a incredible wee move there. But let's talk about the transfers that have happened um, since the last wee video we did, which, of course, was on Adam Idea. So... Let's go to Celtic then, and that is with David Turnbull, who's joined Cardiff for two million. You look at it on paper, two million looks pretty poor from a Celtic point of view, but then you realise he's only got six months left on his deal, which I think's pretty good. You probably were looking at a bit less than that. Um so yeah, two million. It's a good move for Cardiff. It's a good move for Celtic, it's a good move for all involved. I think I, I think Turnbull unfairly got a lot of criticism at Celtic. Um, of course, he came in and then he was like the only shining light in a season where they were really bad when Rangers won the league. But since then, he's never really had a proper you know, stay in the team, so to speak. And also, they did loan out Mikey Johnston. Let's go to Rangers, of course. Loaned out the main man, Adam Define, to Motherwell. And they signed Lens winger Cortez on loan. Just to quickly wrap up the old firm in 10 seconds. Pish. I've got no other word for it. I think both teams have sold relatively well, but they've bought relatively poor. And I think they've just signed players in positions they didn't necessarily need. Yeah, Rangers signed a right mid, a right winger, but I heard talks on the Rangers rabble. Apparently the guy's not really a right winger, but he can play across the front three. Anyway, um, yeah, but to sum up the old form, very underwhelming. And I, I did say before... January, whoever won the window would win the league, and I, I actually couldn't tell you who's won this window. I mean, I would probably say Celtic fans are more annoyed, but that doesn't necessarily mean that they've, they've lost the window. Um, but let's talk about a team that's in contention of winning the window, and that is Kilmarnock. They signed Kevin Fanfine, and that is signing of the window for me. What a player, what a man. I wish Rangers took a punt on him, but they didn't. Anyway, I'm going to stop talking about the old firm. <laughs> right, uh, they've also got Greg Stewart. We knew that a few days ago, whatever that happened. Uh, but yeah, that's two great striking options up front. They're going to cause a wee bit of um, chaos, aren't they? Hibs have signed Sunderland's Triantis and Meenda. They've also signed Bevan from Bournemouth as they have uh, McCurdy has went to Swindon on loan. So Hibs making a lot of moves, getting rid of a decent wee bit as well. Motherwell have added Boya Yabu from Sheffield United on loan. Um, Motherwell have added Adam Define from Rangers, like I talked about earlier. St Johnston have signed Sidibe from Warrington Rylands for an undisclosed fee. Dundee have re-signed Norwich keeper McCracken on loan. Ross County have added FFFD. FFFD? FFFD? It's FFFD. After defenders Grimsby exit, uh, Livingston have added midfielder Carson from Inverness on 18 month deal, and uh, where he kind of talked about Danny Wilson. So Queens Park have lost their. I thought they, I don't. It's not disclosed what it actually, how much they sold them for, but when they were linked with United, it was about a million. So for their sake, hopefully they get a million. Uh, low in league, Albion Rovers sell striker Bevan 19 to Burnley for an undisclosed fee but that is pretty much going to wrap it up guys across the board it was an incredibly weak transfer window and transfer deadline day you know i mean i guess it wasn't completely dead range and celtic both selling and getting you know bringing players in fan fiend returning to the league etc etc then you look you know down south in england across the uk i mean i say across the uk like the other two fucking leagues matter <laughs> you know <laughs> who the fuck am i trying to kid uh um, yeah then you've got europe uh lingard's going to south korea but Bro broja looks like he's going to fill him alone just just absolutely dead i'm sorry man it, it doesn't do anything for me and uh, that's where we're going to wrap this up. We've talked about it a lot today. I'm looking forward to get to my bed personally. But anyway, guys, what do you guys think? 
Who won the window? Leave it in the comments down below. But until then, peace.